This is Marina from the YouTube channel Inspire Me To Be Healthy. And now, please bow to the king of the fruits, Durian. Judging by a spiked shell that makes the king of fruit looks like a strange hedgehog, it is not a wonder that the word durian means thorny. Not only all the spikes make it hard to open a durian, but they can also be potentially dangerous. On the other hand, a truly ripe durian, just like all other fruits, gives its unique taste for turning the seeds into the ground. Durian is ripe when its shell cracks open, when it emits a characteristic smell even through the intact shell, when the tapping of its shell gives a rocking sound of its pits, and when its flesh is soft and creamy. While Thailand currently being the biggest producer and distributor of durian of Montong variety, there are many other varieties of durian in Malaysia, Singapore and Indonesia. The varieties differ in size, shape, color, texture and smell. Talking about the smell, this fruit emits such a noticeable smell that it has true devotees and strong opponents. For example, the king of fruit is banned on public transportation. However, those who love durian feel joy when they sense its smell. Don Bennett, the author of books on health, natural hygienist and advocate of a fruit-based diet, gives his insight on correlation between health and tendency to durian. I just noticed that this is what happened and there was a correlation between people's health and how much they like to dislike durian. If the health of your cells, because of the way you're living, is not as good as it could be, it's, it's all your cells. The cells of your eyes, the cells of your brain, the cells of your the taste buds on your tongue, all your cells are not gonna be working as optimally as they should be. There's no way that your, the cells on your tongue is gonna be working 100% and the cells of your thyroid is gonna be not working well at all. Unless, you, of course, you have some genetic predispositions to certain things, but in general, if your health is not as good as it can be, all cells are affected. So if the cells of your tongue and your taste buds and your tongue are affected, well, what's that going to affect? Your sense of taste, how you perceive things. And keep in mind, taste, how, you, how something tastes to you, it mostly has to do with the olfactory senses inside your nose. The people who are in horrible health, they don't like it. They just do not like it. And people have started to counsel with me. And since I've been counseling people for a decade and they've been with me that entire time and sticking with me and I follow them. I found that when they started, you know, in ill health, they didn't like durian. But I, I say to everybody, okay, you don't like it today, but let's check back and they, they check back as their health improves. They're like, hey, you know, I like it. So that's what I call the durian test. It's a, it's a purely subjective test, obviously. There seems to be a correlation between people's health and how much they like it. It's because durian is so strong and it has a sulfur content to it. So. There must be something about it where if you're not in good health, it just turns you up. Raw food is from all over the world travel to tropical countries where durian is grown just to enjoy the creamy and sweet taste of this strange hedgehog. I mean, the king of fruit.